Hi, my name is Florian and I will guide you in, the, in using the LVT and IES files of the InnoScene A7 lighting fixture in this short video tutorial. The InnoScene lighting fixture is very special in its function and appearance. Thus, it also needs some special treatment when doing a simulation. The challenge are the two different lighting applications that are combined in one lighting fixture but have quite opposite characteristics. One being the, the light coming from the sky with a diffuse distribution and a dynamic color correlated temperature or CCT and the other one being the light coming from the sun with an extremely narrow beam angle and a neutral white CCT. The sun is obviously the one that makes these bright spots um, with a, uh, again with a very narrow beam angle uh, whereas the, the sky makes the bluish light that goes in all directions. In the lighting fixture the two different applications can even be dimmed separately. I will show the use of the files in the simulation software Dialux Evo. However, the concepts apply to any other simulation or rendering software. So the LDT and IES files are text files in ASCII file format and they contain the photometric information of the lighting fixture. In other words, the light intensity distribution curve with all these numbers here. I start with the combined um, IES file and I just drag and drop it into my 3D model and place it correctly. Um, so I can just place it wherever I need it. Um, I will also display the light intensity curve in my um, software. So that will enable me to to um, orientate the lighting fixture correctly. So okay. Um, so now I can just run the simulation. Here we have the light coming from the sky and also here and here we have that very bright spot coming from the sun. Now as you can see because both systems are combined in one file the color temperature is the same for both systems. And even if I was going to change the settings for my light source here um, I could change the color temperature for, for the, the lighting system, but it would still be the same for both applications. For the sun, for the sun and the sky, uh, we would all, always have the same um, color temperature. The same applies, of course, for the dimming values if you use uh, lighting scenes. To, to overcome this issue, we have the same photo, photo matrix divided into two different files. One for the sky and one for the sun. Now I'm going to use the LDT files as examples and I'm going to superimpose the two files for the sky. 
and the sun. You have to be very careful to place them exactly at the same position because else um, the, the two files might interfere with one another. So what I like to do is I, I use um, the position here to place them uh, correctly. So I'll, I'll put them at 1.5 and 1.8 and I'll do the same with the other picture 1.5 and 1.8 so now I'm sure they're exactly in the same position and I can run the simulation again Now that seems very blue, but I'll just have to adjust the white balance. So we see very nicely that the two different systems now have different color um, temperatures. The rather bluish light from the sky with a cold, uh, cold white, a high color temperature, and the neutral white of the sun uh, with a color temperature of uh, 4500. Um, if you use the LDT files, the program will automatically have the correct um, CCT for the two different systems. If you use IES files, you'll have to manually adjust the CCT in your uh, software in the settings of your light source, which in in um, Dialogs Evo, you'll find here, and you can you can change the the color temperature in Kelvin here. Um, if you want to use uh, dimming levels, you don't have to adjust the um, luminous flux of the lighting system because this one is scaled to their exact correct levels but you would rather use the the scenes the lighting scenes in your software which in uh, dialogs evo you'll find under this icon and you can have different lighting scenes with different um, dimming levels If you use the LDT or IES files for simulations, lighting simulations, and you're interested in the correct lighting levels, but not so much in the display of different lighting colors or different color temperatures, then you would probably want to use a combined file, which is easier to handle. Uh, whereas if you want to actually do a visualization and show the different color temperatures of the lighting fixtures uh, of the lighting systems you'd probably rather use the two separate files um, for your simulation. Um, note that the LET and IES files of the InnoScene A7 fixture are synthetically generated Measured phot photometric data is expected to be available in the future. However, results of lighting simulations with the synthesized photometrics have been verified with in-field measurements and have proven the synthesized photometrics to be within a margin of plus minus 10%. Now, I hope this was quite clear um, and uh, I wish good luck with your simulations and renderings.